Hey there, this is Rachel, and today I'm going to demonstrate a spirit art drawing. It'll be the first time that I demonstrate a spirit art drawing on YouTube, so I'm not quite sure what's going to happen, but generally the idea would be that before the drawing, I kind of tune in to the spirit world, and then I make the drawing. I'm not sure how quickly I'm going to be able to do it. Um, but the catch with this drawing is that the intention is to be reading one of the future viewers of this video. So basically, it's going to resonate with somebody who sees the video after. So does this matter to the spirit world? No, because the spirits know everybody who's going to see this video, etc., etc. <clears throat> so, that being said, let's get started with this spirit art experiment. Okay. Okay guys, this is the final drawing that we have here, and um, I wanted to kind of explain um, what I drew. And I did go back to my pendulum a little bit just to make sure that what I was getting just kind of as uh, validation for myself. Anyways, um, just because I've never done anything like this before. Okay. So this is a rat, and this is a farm. Uh, this was the man's house, he was a farmer. This is the nuclear family. <coughs> it's weird that I'm coughing, because I'm totally fine. Okay. This um, was the nuclear family here. I believe this is a son, mom, dad. The dad um, was a medium. He might not have known it, but he was definitely hearing things. And um, I know this is going to sound crazy, like this drawing is a little bit weird. But anyways, he was a very controlling guy, and that's why during the middle of the drawing I did get the um, 
King of Swords cup. Uh, King of Swords card. This was at the end of the deck, so I actually got this at the... It was just on the top of the deck. And this represents a very authoritarian, um, power-hungry um, male energy. So he's very controlling of his family. But he also was a medium, like I said. I don't know if he told people that. Um, but that this would be his personality archetype. Not not particularly a nice guy. I wouldn't would not have wanted to know him. But he is crossed over into the spirit world. And he is with his family and they are happy, as you can see right here. They're pretty happy together. Um, they're singing in heaven together and they're fine now. But he at least he got really carried away with religion and he got really carried away with um his ability because I don't think he really knew what it was and um, he I think probably indirect indirectly uh, killed his family somehow and I believe they lived in the Midwest and his fa his farm did have like a major rat infestation infestation a lot of stuff was going on underground maybe the farmland wasn't really that good or something, but he was like determined to keep, um, to keep his farm as long as he could. And, um, there was just a lot of energy and stuff going on this farm. I kept asking if this was fire. I don't think this is a fire. I just think that there was a lot of energy going on here. Like it was a heated, heated environment for these folks. So, <clears throat> if this resonates with anybody, please let me know. This is a rat. This is not a demon or anything, even though he had such an extreme personality. He could have thought it was a demon or who knows what he thought, but um, he did mean well. He was just really carried away with his belief system and everything like that. So this is a spirit drawing, and it is a form of medium in mediumship because these are in fact passed away people if this resonates with you and you're watching this video please let me know if you have any questions about spirit art or mediumship or anything like that just feel free to um, ask questions or leave a comment below and have a great night guys bye bye